hey how's it going on guys in this video i'll be teaching you how to create another title animation in hit film express so uh let's take a look at what we'll be creating today all right guys let's start our tutorial open up hit film express and from the template i'll choose 1080p hd at 60 frames per second you're free to choose any other template and then click on start compositing my workspace is set to compositing you can click on this icon and from this list you can select compositing also uncheck the trimmer option to hide the trimmer window click on this cog icon to open up the composite shot properties and let's just change the duration and make it 3 seconds long alright let's uh, create a background so uh, you know what let's just import a background image so I'm just going to find an image as that I can use as a background and uh, let's just uh, scroll down and here it is I'm just going to insert it onto my timeline in the effects tab search for 1080p title scape fade effect and apply it onto your background or your image that you're using as a background and uh, what that will do is give these guidelines and we can use these guidelines you know to sort of center things up in the middle and let's create a new text layer I'm just going to set the width to 1920 and click on OK select the text tool you can press T on your keyboard or just click on this icon to select it and I'm just going to type in my text hit Control A to select your text go to the text tab and here you can just change the font and the font that I'm going to use is Unisense and just increase the font size to around 150 also click on this icon that says center alignment and let's just increase some uh, gap in between the letters all right as you can see our text is not in the center so i'm just going to go inside my text layer go inside transform and let's just change the position of it to just you know just center things up in the middle like that I'm going to rename this text layer to text1 right and uh, we'll create a animation out of it so uh, let's create a new plain layer it's going to call it mask set its color to black or any other color it won't matter since this mask will not be visible in our animation click on OK I'm just going to put it underneath my text somewhere over there now let's go inside our text layer go inside transform and we will keyframe the position make sure your playhead is at the first frame of your video and just create change the position and just bring it down like that create a position keyframe let's move forward to one second mark and let's just bring the position back to where it was it was at negative 100 i'm just going to select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go into value graph and just sort of give it a change the slope and make it look like this so you'll have this kind of animation all right now we can hide our mask layer we don't need that to be visible go to the fix tab and search for set mat apply it on your text layer and let's go to the control tab expand the set mat set the source layer to mask and set the blend to subtract and you can see your text will only be visible outside this uh, masked area all right uh, so the next step is to duplicate our text so I'm just going to hit control D to duplicate it and what I'm going to do is on the text which is at the top the text one layer I'm just going to rename this to text 2 go inside it and we don't want this keyframe so I'm just going to select just this keyframe and delete it and let's just uh, you know what on the second layer we'll just uh, drag this layer and make it make sure that it starts at one second mark somewhere over there all right now what we have to do is create another plane layer we'll call this box and we can change the color to any color you want it's going to give it a let's change the color to something like a straight let's use this red color right here and click on OK and 
and now let's go inside our box layer go inside transform unlink the scale and now let's just scale it down let's just increase the opacity so that we can see the text and let's just change the decrease the width as well something like that now uh, we will keyframe uh, will animate this box as well so I'm just going to change the opacity to 100% now what we have to do is make sure your playhead is at one second duration you can check the time right here and right now as you can see our anchor point this cross set thing in the middle is your anchor point and it's at the center right now we want this anchor point uh, to be on the left edge of this shape so to do that we'll just simply change this anchor point value the one on the left just you now just drag this value to the left and you can just zoom in with your you know mouse wheel you can just change it so negative 960 looks fine and then we will reposition it so I'm just going to use the position value right here and just bring it back in the center might want to decrease the opacity to see the whether it's centered properly or not so I think that it looks uh, fine at negative 473 now we'll animate these scales so uh, let's move your playhead to two second mark and uh, on the scale keyframe we'll just create a scale keyframe there so at two seconds the scale value is at 49 percent and let's move back to one second set the scale to zero percent so we have this animation going on all right select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go into value graph and we'll just create a slope like this all right now we can increase the opacity to 100 percent now what i want to do is i want to you know create them I want this to I want this text to be replaced with my background so we'll apply the set math layer on our box a box layer expand the set mat set the source layer to text to set the blend to subtract so you'll have something like this uh, again use the set mat and this time we'll apply the set mat on our text uh, one layer and also uh, hide the text two layer we don't want that to be visible can just hide that text tool layer apply the set mat on your text one expand your set mat set the source layer to box oops set the blend to subtract and now as you can see we have this nice animation of our text so the text right here is solid right now and as it moves forward you can see the text becoming transparent and you can see your background behind you know through the text so this is uh, what uh, this animation this tutorial is about so yeah that's it guys that's how you can create this sort of animation and hit film express I hope you like this tutorial I hope you learn something new if you did please do consider liking this video and also subscribing to the channel uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one